OMG. Wow is all I can say. The more and more I use this tool, the more and more I'm blown away by it. I like for real can't wait to see this, Eric. You may have heard or seen the term SAS or S-A-A-S, but are you familiar with exactly what it means? No, Eric. So why don't you tell me? Well, today I'm going to show you how to instantly spin up SAS back end with just the simplicity of a prompt. Wait, what? And today we're going back to one of my new favorite VIP tools, Deep Agent by Abacus AI. And if you haven't seen these other videos right here, I highly recommend watching these as well once you're done watching this one. Now, quickly when it comes to pricing, let's just take a quick look. Deep Agent and what I'm featuring today is actually a part of Chat LLM. The subscription costs $10 per user per month, and it includes access to Deep Agent, Chat LLM, and code LLM. And you can see it right here, $10 per user build monthly. I mean, everything you get in this one tool is just simply incredible. But today's focus is Deep Agent, specifically creating a SaaS backend. So again, what exactly is SaaS? Well, when using Deep Agent, one prompt is all you need. One prompt can be enough to spin up a genuinely capable SaaS backend. When a developer makes a request, the platform first creates a basic structure for storing data, which includes tables, indexes, and links between tables. It adds features, user authentication, and managing user roles. It's like your own personal backend app or website that could perform and actually operate in real time with a lot of concurrent tasks. So for an example, what I'm showing you today are actually a few examples like creating your very own notion interface app or your very own x reddit anything that you want but the best part about this video today is that i'm actually going to give you a powerful prompt generator or actually show you how to get your own in creating your very own SaaS apps now if this seems complex don't worry about it it is but not for you when using Deep Agent by Abacus AI. But the most impressive part about this is exactly how easy this is. Okay, so here we are right here. We are on Abacus AI. Right now, I'm in Chat LLM. Now, the thing I love about this is that you can actually combine the power of Chat LLM and Deep Agent. Oh. And don't forget to click the links in the description to try this awesomeness. Up at the very top, you can see Deep Agent, a god tier agent, create apps, reports, and perform agentic tasks. Now, here we are in Deep Agent. Now, the thing that is so cool about this is that right away, it's already gonna give you some fantastic examples that you could see on my screen right here. So I wanna start with one of the most simplistic ones, but yet very impressive. Now let's start, it's gonna be very easy. All you have to do is ask Deep Agent to build anything you need. We'll start with something vague, but incredibly impressive, like build your own X app, and then just specify your need and or setup Deep Agent will generate the code, preview it, and then you can deploy it in one click. So very quickly, to help you understand this a little bit better, let's go back over to Chat LLM very quickly before we start. Watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy an instruction, okay? Now, if you're unfamiliar with what this is, paste in something very simple like this into Chat LLM. Give me some ideas on how to use Deep Agent to build a SaaS. The ability to create complex websites, apps, CRMs, and databases by just prompting is truly a game changer. Let's start with just building a basic CRM. Okay, here we have it up in my actual dialog box. That's exactly what I'm going to say. Build a mini CRM with contacts, prospects, and pipelines. Okay, now you can do something in one of two ways. I could add all the details here, or you can add the follow-up details after you first get your brief preview. So for an example, if I wanted to add it now or later, I would actually add something to it like this add shareable notes, touch points, date of contact, and prospect ranking. But for the most part, let's just go ahead and generate this with the most simple of a prompt and now see what happens. And remember to stick around because after I show you a few amazing examples, I really want to share this prompt with you to help you build any SaaS app that you want without even knowing what prompt to use. Okay, so here we go back over here into Deep Agent. It's asking us a few questions regarding our CRM. Now, it wants me to answer these five questions. I could bypass all this and say this, you choose, okay? Now, again, if you're really looking for something really particular, you would really want to actually answer those questions because it's going to have to deal with maybe your color scheme, the way it operates, if you want people to log in. But I just said for simplicity, you choose. 
I just want to show you the power of what one very simple prompt can do. So while this is thinking, I'm actually going to open up a second one at the same time so we can have more than one going simultaneously. Now, sticking with the CRM, I want to do it again, but I want to have it a little bit more detailed. So I'm going to go ahead and copy a brand new prompt and now paste it in right here. Now you can see it right here. Build a mini CRM tool for managing customer relations. It's going to include contact management, etc. Okay, let's go ahead and generate that one. We'll have this going at the same time as well, but let's add another one. We'll have three going so that way we can go back and revisit. Now, if I do go fast, don't worry. All these prompts demoing in this video. Want it? Just click the links in the description. And now this time, I want to show you how to make an incredible Notion app. And now I will paste it in right here. Here is my full prompt for my powerful Notion app. Let's go back to our very first one just to see what happens. Now, the first one is going to be our basic CRM. You could see it's already getting built. You could see all of the lines of code right here. But what I want to do next, since we have three going at the same time, is show you how to build our very own personal Reddit style forum. Here is the sort of prompt that you want to use. I want to create a SaaS using Deep Agent, but I need a really good detailed prompt or prompts to get everything I need. I want to vibe code an online forum just like Reddit. Please provide me with a prompt to use to vibe code this app and create this SaaS in Deep Agent. Now, if you wanted something more specific, remember, just what I'm highlighting here, just remove online forum like Reddit and put anything else you want instead. For an example, a social media platform like X, whatever you want. For now, we're going to go with Reddit. Once I hit this, it's going to give me a prompt. That will then be the prompt I'll use in Deep Agent itself. Okay, here it is. Here is a ready to use detailed prompt you can plug into Deep Agent. But look at this. It looks like our Notion one is almost done. Right off the bat, I can tell you this is going to look incredible. Notion light. Okay, so let's just keep going with more prompts. I'll show you one more to create a school community. Now, when I did it earlier, that's the prompt I received, again, with all these details below. Instead of Reddit, it's going to be to build my own school community like, and then I just went ahead and put in the URL of school's homepage. My school community is specifically about teaching people how to use AI, create AI images and video, and it's actually called Let's AI. Please provide this vibe code to use and build my school community. So we'll come back and visit these and actually do this in real time together. Let's now come over here and quickly take a look at our CRMs. Look at this right here. Here is our first CRM, basic prompt. I love the UI, I love everything about it. Everything is clickable. Dashboard, contacts, pipeline, notes. As I click each thing, you can see it automatically changes on the right-hand side. This is a legit and a great looking CRM. I'm extremely impressed with that. Now, if I'm ready to deploy it, all I have to do is hit this deploy button and it will actually deploy my website. And again, I could choose an Abacus AI domain, which I'll do. And now after a minute, it's ready to go. I can literally copy and paste that URL it will be alive on the internet. Let's take a look at our second one. Second one, since it's more complex, still thinking, but look at this. Our Notion one is done. Amazing. Get started. Sign in. Okay. So the cool thing about this, it has authentication. So you actually have to sign in and create an account. Okay, so now my URL is deployed. If I select this, look at this right here. And I have to say, it looks really, really good. The prompt was only one sentence. Now, again, when it comes to the Notion one, if I don't want to have a sign-in, you can actually say, remove the sign-in because I want to see how it works. And look at this, over here on the left-hand side, it will do it all in real time. Anytime you ask the AI on the left-hand side to fix something or make something better or change it, it will instantly do it and then you could just simply redeploy it. But you can see my Notion one's going to work and this other CRM. So let's go ahead and start the process of the Reddit one. New session, paste it in just like that. A Reddit-like forum, there we have it. And while we have the Reddit one working, let's go ahead and we might as well do the one for school as well. And now paste in this school community one. Let's see if it allows me to do it since I still have three going at the same time. And now look at that. You reached the limit of three concurrent tasks. No problem, we'll try that again once we have one of these done. Okay, so it looks like our second CRM is done. And now look at this mini CRM. I mean, this looks fantastic as well. Now remember, this is the one that's a little bit more detailed 
detailed. I get the tabs at the very top and it's actually going to provide me with multiple pages. This again, this is fantastic. I have my deals. I have my contacts. And again, everything is specifically clickable. That way it operates. I mean, it really is a real CRM. Now let's move on to our Notion one. And here is this Notion Lite. Full page right here. Demo mode, I said no authentication required. And now here it is right here. This looks perfect. If I select a new document, look, it takes me to this page. I can do everything that I can normally do in Notion. Add images, I could start writing. Look, I'm typing. This is beautiful. If I go back again, like I said before, all of this is fully clickable and usable. You can actually see how these pages look and operate. Now, moving on, we still have our Reddit form being generated, but since we have another opening, let's go ahead and generate this one. I'm going to copy the rest of this and then actually paste it in to the left hand side to tell Deep Agent to let's keep making things better and better. Let's look at these questions. Now, this time around, I think I will answer a few of the questions. Okay, now check this one out. This is our final version for our Reddit forum. I mean, again, this looks amazing. It actually matches my color scheme. Now, I'm sure it does this from past conversations, but these are my logo of Metrics Mule colors. Here's the homepage. Get started for free. View pricing. It has the stats. And then here are going to be the community feeds or the specific post form or topics. Again, it's all clickable. Once I click it, it then redirects me to the full discussion. Here is the original post. And then again, we have the upvote count, the up and down vote count right here. And as I scroll down, here are going to be the comments. Okay. So we can really have a real Reddit type forum discussion. Amazing. Now let's go on to the next one. This is going to be one of the most impressive ones I've seen. That's going to be for that school community. Learn AI together. Up in the top left hand corner, there is my slogan, my school name with a manufactured logo. This looks amazing. We get the pricing at the very top right corner, the community courses and prompts. Now, as I scroll down, look at this right here. This is fantastic. This actually does look just like a real school community. I mean, I am highly impressed with the final results of this. If I select the course option at the very top, look, it then redirects me to my actual courses. This is amazing. It's clean. It's simple, just like school really is. And then again, I get a third option for my prompts. Now, the thing that is so cool about this is that in my school community in real life, it's actually going to have something just like this, a prompts library in addition to the courses that are going to have thousands of prompts for everybody to use. And that's exactly what this is right here. And it's even labeled mid journey, mid journey, chat, GPT, Claude, doll E. I mean, this is highly impressive. And again, I could select this copy button and look at that. It's copied to my clipboard and it's automatically ready to go. I mean, this is very impressive. Now, if I open up the menu again, I really love the way this looks. But remember, what if we want to create that landing page for it? something we got a little bit earlier over here in the bottom left hand corner. I'll first clarify by saying the specific reason here are now details on how to add a landing page, add this and I'll paste everything that chat LLM gave me just like that. Let's just go back to make sure I copied everything in its entirety. Okay. It looks right. There we have it. Now let's hit that send button in the bottom left hand corner. And then there we have it. It's going to work immediately. Now this is exceptional. The sky really is the limit. And that is honestly without even knowing how to use a line of code. And remember, if you want to try deep agent or chat LLM, I highly recommend you do. There's a link in my description. Make sure you click that link and try it out for yourself. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and